Hi, welcome. It's Amy from the Craft Bunny. Today I have some selfies for you. Of course, it's not my selfies. I mean, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> what I mean is this. Um, I wanted to use my stamps and to make it looks like they take their own selfies. I thought it's such a cute idea. And also it's Asian. You know what Asian people love to do? Yeah, taking selfies. Absolutely right. So I've got a ton of selfie ideas like from my past and also from all my friends online. So I made these pictures. It looks like the bunny and the teddy, they are like touristing around London and they took some photos of their memories there. I thought it's really cute. And also make some Thanksgiving ones documenting what happened on their Thanksgiving day. She see there, I made a turkey and then uh, the teddy is watching football and all that. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do that because I think it's such a cute idea and I feel like a lot of people can do this too and you can literally use any stamps that you use for all the stamp sets that I own there's not a single one that I couldn't use in this way I thought it's such a fun way to use the stamps in another way too and you can literally make anything out of this you can make a tag or you can make it on a card I've made some cards before and here are some examples that I've used um, using Lanfon and W plus 9 so let's get started and I started by using a piece of Inka Dinka Deuce masking paper and I die cut it out using um, some kind of frames die. You can use anything you have. I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh stitched photo frames die. I'm using the largest one and also the middle sized one. Um, I'm going to use these to create mask. And I'm also going to use some white cardstock to die cut out three photo frames two in the largest size and one in the middle size. So after the die cutting, I went ahead and stick my mask onto a piece of white cardstock that I have. And then I use a pencil to trace the outer edge of this mask because I want to um, know like how big do I need this area for. And also it will help me as a guide when I later copy color the images in. So in order to make this image, I want to look like the bunny and a bear are taking a selfie in front of the ferris wheel. I stamped this bunny in Momento's tuxedo black ink because I'm going to do copy coloring later on. So everything is stamped in this ink. And after the bunny is on the paper, I used um, some mask that I used for my past projects and to mask the bunny. This mask is pretty old. It's got all, all kinds of stuff over it because I've used it a lot. So I keep all my masks um, behind all my stamp sets just to keep them in place. I think that's a really good idea. So mask off the bunny and then stamp the bear. And then mask the bear and then stamp the ferris wheel. And these two stamp sets are from Mama Elephant's Tandem Ride. And for the London stamp set, it's from my favorite things. It's called London Mouse. And then for the next image, I'm going to make the bunny to hold the balloon in front of the Big Ben. I used the Anka Dinka Deuce masking paper, my leftover over there, and I draw a bunny's arms. Um, I'm not very good at drawing, but I try my best, and this is not difficult at all. So I cut, um, I cut out his, I cut out the bunny's arm, um, and then I stick it onto the frame. And also traced it using my pencil. Okay, so after that, I'm going to stamp the balloon from the Tandem Extras stamp set. Um, it's the extra stamp set from the same Tandem Ride stamp set from Mama Elephant. I absolutely adore these two sets. I use them like endlessly. This is like my best buy of the whole year, seriously. And then after that, I'm going to stamp my Big Ben. Um, you want to be careful when you stamp the Big Ben. I kind of forgot to uh, mask off my balloon over there. You should probably do that. But I got lucky and the two didn't overlap. So I'm going to use this image anyway. For the third image, I want to change the expression of the bear. So what I did was I just used my hole puncher or my Inka Dinka Tooth uh, masking paper, punch out two holes for his eyes. Um, and after I stamped the image onto my ink pad, I peel off the backing of my masking paper and just stick the eyes on the bear and I stamp the whole thing onto my paper. It looks really funny when a bear doesn't have any eyes. So after the bear stamp, just um, mask off the bear and then stamp off um, the other guards, uh, the British guards. Um, I chose this one because I like its drums um, and stamped 
behind this bear over there and I also added a few stars in the background. I want to make it more playful. And now we're ready to draw in the eyes of the bear. And I'm using my Copex Multiliner to do that. Um, what I'm using is the 0.3 Multiliner and it works for me every time. I just love it. And another tip over here is um, remember to let your Copic Multiliner dry before you Copic color it in. Otherwise it's going to smudge and looks really ugly. Now the images are ready for Copic coloring. And I'm going to speed through the process and I'm only going to show you two out of the three selfies because all of them are colored in the same way. And if you want to know what colors I'm using, um, I will have them all listed on my blog. So you can head over there for a complete list of colors in case you want to replicate this look. One, two, three, four. Just isn't my forte, but it brings me to my knees when you say hello, how are you, my darling? Today I fall into a pile on the floor. Poppy love is hard to ignore when every little thing you do, I do adore. We're as different. So after the coloring, I used foam tapes to adhere the frame onto the picture itself. I really like the dimension and it makes it look like kind of cartoony pictures. And it really has that texture when I hold them in hand and it makes me really happy. Now when you line them up, you want to be really careful uh, because you don't want to expose any places where there's not any stamps that will look really weird. And sometimes it's not perfect, just like my teddy bears over there. It's kind of missing some colors, but that's okay. I did some touch up after that. I've also created a hashtag stamp take selfie on my Instagram. So if you want to see more future selfies from me, you can always head over there and see it. And if you're making anything with the same idea, feel free to tag it under that as well. So we can all see and inspire. I hope you liked my video today. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more videos in the future for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.